Good evening. What a pleasure to be here in this beautiful space. Thanks to Donna and everybody. My name is Dr. Norman Rosenthal. I'm a psychiatrist and a researcher. And for 20 years, I was at the National Institute of Mental Health, where I uh, was involved in describing seasonal affective disorder and developing light therapy as a treatment for it. And I can tell you that light therapy was regarded as pretty wacky when we first did it, and it's now mainstream. In the last 10 years, I've been working um, with major pharmaceutical companies, running my own organization, doing trials in anxiety, depression, and other conditions. Now, you've heard the stories of Jerry Yellen and Dan Burks, and they're pretty amazing stories at that. But there really is more out there than individual stories. There was a wonderful controlled study done on TM in Vietnam, post-traumatic stress disorder victims, and the study showed that TM was superior to the psychotherapy of the day. And just recently, we conducted in our organization a study on five veterans of our new wars in Afghanistan and Iraq. And the study was funded, incidentally, by the Dalio Family Foundation and was published only last week in Military Medicine, which is a peer-reviewed journal. And speaking of peer-reviewed journals, you may be interested to know that there are now over 340 studies of TM and its benefits in health, mental, and physical that are out there in the literature. Uh, in the study, what we found at the most basic level, which is surprising in itself, is that these veterans did not have a hard time meditating. They meditated easily, comfortably, and effortlessly. But more than that, within a couple of months, their symptoms of PTSD had been reduced by 50%. And I could tell you some of their amazing stories, but you have heard already some amazing stories, and you will hear more. And you can read about two of them in my book that you will all receive before the end of the evening. Now, to some extent, we could have anticipated that TM would be helpful to PTSD because a meta-analysis of 146 studies showed a major impact of TM on anxiety in general, and PTSD is, after all, one of the anxiety disorders. Now, like Donna, I want to connect the dots here this evening and try to help understand how can such a simple technique, this process which you sit down 20 minutes twice a day, comfortably and effortlessly, thinking your mantra, how can this simple, innocent, subtle technique have such an impact on this major illness or condition? Part of the clue lies in the stress response system, the fight or flight system. Normally, the stress response should be like a short story with a beginning, a middle, and an end, focused around a specific stress. But in PTSD, the stress response is always on. It's there, grinding away day and night. During the day, people can be hypervigilant, easily startled, subject to very painful flashbacks. One veteran I know, every time he went over a pothole, he had the feeling he was right back there, uh, running over an IED in Iraq. Their nights are disrupted by awful nightmares, they can wake up drenched in sweat as though they're back in the battlefield again. And TM is known to be able to settle down this flight or fright, flight, fright, fight response that occurs um, in, in, uh, when people are overactivated. As you saw in the earlier videos, there can also be a numb detachment until this kicks in in full force. So we know now, as we've heard, and as many of you know, that PTSD is a huge problem. It affects one in seven of our deployed um, Marines and soldiers from our recent wars. 
costs an enormous untold amount, and yet the VA is overwhelmed and doesn't have the resources to deal with it. So it's really time for us to think about new and alternative approaches, and I would say it's time for us to fund some large-scale controlled studies of transcendental meditation. Now I'd like to show you just a few slides from a different condition, which will illuminate, I believe, how TM might be able to really help us uh, with PTSD. If you look at this first slide, it's a meta-analysis of the effects of TM on blood pressure. And look how TM lowers blood pressure, superior to all the other stress management techniques. Here you have biofeedback. Here you have muscle relaxation. Here you have this combination that actually makes the blood pressure worse. So when somebody says, I'm going to get a stress management course, it's really important which one you choose. It makes a big difference. Here are two arteries. The one on the left is nice and open and clean with its linings clean. This one is affected by the very common illness of atherosclerosis, whereby cholesterol and inflammatory cells infiltrate the lining of the artery. Now, whatever organ is at the other side of this artery, you're in good shape there, but you're in trouble there. If it's the heart, you're going to be susceptible to a heart attack. If it's the brain, you're going to be susceptible to a stroke. One in three people in the United States and all developed countries die of cardiovascular illness. What happens to people who meditate? In this brilliant study uh, by Robert Schneider and colleagues, you see that those who were randomized to the meditation condition in the blood pressure studies versus a health education control have a 25% lower mortality rate after an average of eight years. And this is all the more remarkable because nobody even knows if these people continue to meditate. These were just people who were in a study seven or eight years before, and they went back and checked their death records. 25% reduced mortality. And in a follow-up prospective study, this is health education, death, heart attack, and stroke, and this is transcendental meditation. It reduces the risk of these things by 47%. So what you see is that through the day, year after year, this technique is settling down this fight or flight system. It has an amazing effect on the body. It prolongs life. And I would venture to say that's what it's going to do for PTSD. Year after year, day after day, it's going to settle these people down and help curtail their disabling symptoms. Thank you.